Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Indiana State football getting set for a showdown on the road at number 17, North Dakota, Saturday. Tonight, though, Sycamore's taking some time to give back to a community and get in the Halloween spirit. Our Jack Bernie has more from the Hope. As we approach the final days of October, two things stand out. Being in the heart of the football season and Halloween. Thursday, members of the Indiana State football team helping kids with disabilities and their families across the Wabash Valley celebrate the upcoming holiday, participating in a sensory trunk or treat event hosted by Unlocking the Spectrum. This is Unlocking the Spectrum's annual trunk or treat. It's the second year we've opened it up to the public um, for individuals um, with disabilities and their families. We're really excited to have ISU football team out here handing out candy and playing catch and doing autographs. The players helped pass out candy, paint faces, and other fun-filled activities as part of the event. It's awesome to be at this event today. We're out here helping with the trunk or treat and helping these kids out here. And it's just a great experience to be able to bond with our team while also helping out the community. It means everything. And I know for the guys and me, it just means a lot to be able to come out here and help these kids and uh, make their day. If we can make their day, then that makes our day too. Jude McCoskey and Alex Rose are two Indiana State football players from Terre Haute. And they enjoy every opportunity they get to give back to the community that has given so much to them. I was out here trying to just trying to help and uh, show like show what our team is about. We're we're all great like people, um, especially especially the group we brought here. Um, we're all just trying to just trying to be better, um, be better around the community and as a team, just bonding moment. I've actually done this a couple times with like high school teams and stuff coming up. It just it was around the city too, just me growing up here. So it's like it's just awesome to get to do this every year and just see the smile on the kids' face. Oh yeah, it's it's fun to just give back to the community, hand out some candy, be here for. Just all these little kids and just to put a smile on their face. We feel like our community gives back so much to us, so it's only right if we do it in return. Reporting in Terre Haute, I'm Jack Bernie, WTWO Sports. Thank you, Jack. Sycamore's play at North Dakota this weekend. Kickoff is set for two Saturday afternoon.